The government's initial response has been to get in touch with the researcher and attempt to establish how this study was conducted. Minister John Cortez says he was not informed that the research was being carried out and became aware of it circumstantially. He says he believes the methodology, at least in the case of one reading, might have been flawed. Well, it was shocking, but what was shocking was the way that, that this one reading had been put across by, by people who, who I know, having worked with them in the past, are normally uh, very sound uh, in a rather sensationalist manner. Um, having discussed it with other people in the know in Gibraltar, they agree with me that you cannot take a one-off reading and then suggest that that is representative of what's happening in the area. And the fact that this reading was taken, uh, as admitted by, by, by their report, uh, just as a ship was leaving port, means you would expect there to be more particles in the air. Um, but that is not the average, and you cannot compare that. We don't have information as to the equipment they use, how it was calibrated. Uh, we have asked for this information, and we'd look at it very, very closely. But I suspect, in fact, I'm sure, um, that that when we look at this, the the overall readings for the area will be nowhere near what you'd expect to find at a peak um, of emissions. In answers to questions from GBC, Aquajib has confirmed that, contrary to the suggestion made by Dr. Frederick, the company does not operate diesel-powered desalination plants, and that these were decommissioned 10 years ago. The research has drawn a reaction from the GSD opposition, who says the government needs to start being honest about the way they measure air quality, since independent air recording consistently indicates pollution levels over and above acceptable limits, and yet official statistics rarely suggest likewise. To be honest, I've been saying for two years that air quality is something to be concerned about. We, we don't seem to be getting a, a true indication of what the picture is in Gibraltar. We know we have a number of areas that do cause high levels of pollution. Uh, we know that whenever we get an, an independent assessment of that, the World Health Organization did one a while back, now uh, Dr. Friedrich has conducted an assessment as well, uh, we come out very badly, and yet the figures produced by government consistently would indicate uh, that the picture is much rosier than it actually is. So, so it is very worrying uh, that whenever we have this independence of, of opinion, uh, it flies in the face of what we are actually being told by government. But isn't that because whenever an independent assessor comes to Gibraltar, they take a very short-term sample, which can be upset or distorted by a spike, whereas the government statistics provide a more long-term view? I think, first of all, we have to say that uh, you, you're right in some respect. However, it, it strikes me as more than a coincidence that whenever an independent assessment is conducted, it turns out that the, the figures are much worse than, than those uh, provided to us by, by government. And, and we know we have a pollution problem. You know, we, we highlight, uh, and, and the government openly do this much, they highlight the, the highest pollutants uh, in Gibraltar, you know, whether it's the power production, uh, wh whether it's uh, vehicle fumes, uh, wh whether it is uh, any of the other sources um, that, that uh, provide a problem when it comes to pollution. Yeah, I, I really don't know what, what, what Trevor is, is going on about there. Well, rather, I think he doesn't know what he's going on about. He's jumped on something that he's picked up of the press. Either he doesn't understand it or he hasn't researched it in depth. As I said before, a one-off reading at one point isn't a representation of absolutely anything, and it means nothing, okay? Other than, yes, there are ships in the port, and clearly they, they, they have engines running, but, but it cannot be uh, taken further. I don't know what other independent study he's referring to. He refers to the WHO, but we already answered that at the time, and, and we did not agree, and in fact, with his interpretation of what they were saying, which is A, unj uh, unjustified, and B, could be used by those who don't particularly like Gibraltar against us on the environment, when we're working so hard to improve things. Dr. Cortez says he has made contact with the researcher and awaits the research paper before making any further comments.